You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnishas out there in Gwinnett Land and all of you around the world listen to the sound of my voice. It is a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County, 69 degrees going up to a high of 82, but there's some chances of rain forecast, just 10%, just a little bit of chance of rain, so it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I am, I've been up early, y'all. I woke up, I was weird because I, I woke up and I woke up at 2.01, which is crazy. Uh, I never really wake up in the middle of the night like that. I woke up at 2.01, and then I woke up at 4.20. And I was like, what the heck is... Because I never wake up like that. So I woke up at 2.01, thought it was like the morning time. Then I woke up again at 4.20, and then my alarm clock went off at 7 o'clock. But I was already awake, so I'm laying in the bed. So when the alarm clock goes off, it's like 6.30, and I'm like, okay, I should just get up right now. But it was... It was crazy. I, I don't know why I was waking up like so early like that. So, But anyway... Um, I don't know. Maybe my angels were trying to tell me something. I don't know. Nonetheless, I'm here with you guys today and happy to be here. Hope hope you're having a wonderful day. It's hump day, baby. You made it to the middle. It is hump day for real. It's Wednesday, hump day, June the second. Yes, it is. I want to give a shout out to my girl Jamila J. Wilkinson. She's over at the Hype Magazine. Today's her birthday. She's having a birthday party today, a barbecue. So I'm be checking that out. So Jamila, happy birthday, sister. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you later on this evening. So Jamila is the CEO and the publisher of the Hype Magazine. Magazine, which I am so happy to say that magazine has been around for 20 years. She said she started that magazine with like probably a hundred dollars, and people told her she wasn't gonna make it, and it's still going strong after 20 years. So a lot of magazines died out when the digital age hit. Hers kept going. She pivoted, she does a, a print, I think, quarterly, and she does digital online. She has a team of writers doing amazing things she has her hands on a little bit of everything and i know that for her to take some time out today just to enjoy her birthday is a big deal for her so i'll check her out later but wishing her a happy birthday um today is national rotisserie chicken day it's also national uh first ladies day it's also national running day and it's also national leave the office early day some of you really want to do that part like leave the office early now here's the thing I'm just telling you what national day it is. I'm not telling you to leave. That's up to you. That's between you and your boss. All right. Listen, you don't want a boss, then you got to be the boss. Aha. That should have been my closing statement for the day. I'm going I'm to close on that later. I like that statement. All right. Let's get on with our horoscopes. Brought to you by Noted Astrologer Michael Thyssen for today, Wednesday, June the 2nd. We're going to kick it off like we always do. And that is with Aries. You're onto something tangible and need to act fast. Calm down and take a step back. You may want to plan physical activities that will help burn off some extra excess energy. Yes, listen. Me and my husband supposed to went walking last night, but he got up too late. By the time he got, and I worked, he worked late and I worked late. I was working late because I'm launching the program and, um, I was working and think if at first I was working the teachable and I don't know and I'm kind of techie but I was like okay and I probably was not concentrating fully because I was like okay this is getting on my nerves right and and so then I left teachable and went over to think if it and it was just it was pretty much the same I was like okay forget it so he worked late I worked late by the time we stopped working it was nine o'clock like both of us like he walked in about nine ten I walked upstairs about nine <coughs> and I said to him I just came upstairs because I had just come upstairs. Taurus, don't take sides if you wish to remain on good terms with both parties. There will be difficulties if you spend too much. Don't let others put unreasonable demands on you. Listen, don't take sides. Because chances are you're going to take sides. They're both going to be mad at you and they're going to be friends again. So just don't. Just stay very neutral. Keep your opinions to yourself. Do not take sides. Right? Unless it's somewhere you can kind of meet in the middle and kind of be like that, that intermediary. Just kind of like help them work it out. Don't take sides. Because they'll be mad at you, each one of them, and then they'll be friends again. Or they'll be lovers again, or whatever they know. Because that's normally what happens. The, the middleman always gets the blame. Gemini, get out and, and enjoy some entertainment. You may have difficulties with someone close to you. Stabilize your own position by locking up your savings. Locking up your savings. You know, I had a good conversation yesterday um, with Janine. Janelle, um, 
God, Lord. Her name is Janelle. Janelle Bailey. And she taught her son how to trade options. And she's going to be one of my co-hosts on the Wise Women Invest podcast. I'm so super duper excited about that. So I have Carolyn Shoemate, who is a um, licensed securities um, financial advisor myself. I'm an insurance advisor. And Janelle is a stock option trader. And she taught her son. And I met her son. We both spoke on a panel together. He At that time, I want to say he was 11. And he was trading options. And I was like, this little kid know how to trade options, know how to trade stocks. And I was so impressed with him. So I built him a Fire TV channel so he can put all his content on there. So he can just spread the word to other young kids. He's doing some, he's doing some amazing things in that space. And so she's going to be a part of the Wise Women Invest panel. Uh, co-host. She's going to come on once a month. She's going to come on the third Wednesday of every month. Uh, Wise Women Invest is going to air at 6 p.m. starting next Wednesday. Every every Wednesday at 6 p.m. And we're going to be co- talking about money, management, credit, investing in business, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, stock options, cryptocurrency. I'm going to bring on amazing guests. So just know that my goal right now is to help 1 million women learn how to invest. Whether they invest in a mutual fund, a money market, whether they invest in a bond, whether they invest in cryptocurrency, learn how to stock trade, invest in businesses, invest in real estate, that's the goal. So we want to we want you and we want to help you learn how to do that. And so, you know, um Picking an insurance policy. A lot of people don't even know that insurance policies can be used for other things other than just to, you know, pay, pay for a burial. It's, it's, it's two types of insurance. It's just, it's a lot in the financial space that a lot of people just don't know about. And with being a podcaster, I felt like I wanted to do another podcast that's really, that was really going to empower people in a space that I am in as well. So I know a lot of people don't hear me talk about financial services because I'm always talking about podcasting and business, but that's the other side of my life. You know, they say that most millionaires have seven streams of income. I have three. I got to get four more. <laughs> I have three and I get four more. And so, um, yeah, so we'll be launching that podcast. will be launching, launching next Wednesday. Carolyn will be on. She'll be talking more about, you know, uh, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. And then Janelle will be on the, the week after that talking about stock options and trading and helping you understand what the lingo and what all that stuff means. So just know that it's a lot and it means so much. And so if you are really seriously about building wealth, I want to bring on those people. Like I'm going to bring on people in the real estate market. My good friend. His name is Kimball Wright. And I know it's called Wise Women in Bet Vest. But listen, Kimball is a good friend of mine. And we talk real estate. We talk. And so whenever I have a real estate question, he's the first person I go to. Why? Because he's been in this space for 25 years. He's right now building a 52-unit high-rise in New Jersey that he was able to secure $12 million to do. So I'm going to bring him on. And we're going to talk about what that looks like for you if you're trying to be a developer. Because he's a developer. And he's going to be moving to Georgia. So I'm excited about that as well because I know we're going to do some good things when he, get, when he gets here. So um, got great people coming on just to, just to help you understand cryptocurrency cryptocurrency all you hear is crypto 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 just yesterday i was watching a um a youtube video with hill harper and he was talking about and i know i gotta do i gotta finish up the horoscopes but he was talking about um they just started he just started something in, in fintech called the black the black wall street and it's an app to help us learn how to do crypto investing i'm excited about that because we're always the last ones to the party Right, we spend the most money, and we're the last ones to the party. Not anymore, so that's a good thing. Anyway, let me get on with the horoscope because I can stay on this stuff all day long. Trust me, when it comes to business and all this stuff that I love, I, I could be on that all day. Cancer, sentimental feelings may make you make it difficult to get much done at work. You can make money through real estate or mm, or by use <laughs> by using your head when it comes to personal investments. Mm. Family members will not be happy with the amount of time you're spending away from home. I just talked about that. See, that's what I'm saying. The stuff. Listen, Cancer. Me and the stars. We're on the same page today. I'm just trying to help you out. Leo, speak of the future. Speak of your future goals, intentions, and commitments. You can make money if you pursue your own business. Use your intellectual approach to get the best results. All right. Listen, I ain't gonna get off on a tangent about starting your own business. What I will say, Leo, is that if you're planning on starting a business, make sure it's something that you can make a commitment to. I'm not telling you to leave your job. What I'm saying is make sure that you can put in the time. So when you're not working on your, in your job, you're working on your business. And sometimes it's hard because you want to work, you want to do life, you know, and there's like last night, 
I really wanted to go to dinner last night. That's what I really wanted to do. But I had to, to get think if it working and teachable working so I can get this course ready so I can go out and put it out. The people have asked me to help me market that course. They want to be affiliates to the court course. And I'm like, I got to get this done. So I really wanted to go to dinner last night. But instead, I stayed in the office at 9 o'clock. So that's all I'm saying, Leo. Make sure that you're willing to make the, the commitment and to be persistent and to um, I, I make the sacrifices because come, becoming an entrepreneur comes with sacrifices. So I just want you to make sure that you're ready for that. Virgo, you can expect to have a problem with your lover. Don't put off things that, that they have asked you to do. It might be best to keep your ideas to yourself today. Changes could be overwhelming. Sometimes change is overwhelming. Sometimes you just don't know what to do, how to do it, and sometimes you have to ask for help. So if it's overwhelming for you today, Virgo, just ask somebody to help you. That's all. Mm-hmm. All right, so listen, I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after this song to give you more of the harvest goes brought to you by note of the astrologer so stay tuned Kearney giving you the Delhi Rundown and Delhi Harvest Girls brought to you by noted astrologer Michael Thyssen. We're going to pick it up with Libra. Pleasure trips will be most enjoyable if you take them with the with that special person in your life. Regardless of your first reaction, the outcome will be favorable. Spend time with youngsters today. Yeah, take a pleasure trip. Like, I'm looking forward to going on some trips. Um... I'm looking forward to going on a trip next month. Like my husband, my my daughter, it must be my daughter's thirtieth birthday. So my husband, my daughter, my best friend, my brother, two of my best friends, my brother, we're all going to Miami for her birthday. So I'm excited about that. And my grandbaby, my sugar baby, I call it sugar baby. She called me Gia, and she called and I call it sugar baby. It's so funny because one of my friends, um, he hadn't seen my daughter since she was pregnant. And so when he saw her 
a couple of weeks ago, the baby was born, and now she's walking around and talking. He's like, oh, my God, the time flew. So he says, what does she call you? Because I know she don't call you grandma, which is funny because in my mind, that would have worked, but my daughter didn't like grandma. So she has the baby calling me Gia. So everybody thinks my name is Gia when it's Audrey. And, but the baby calls me, she's like, Gia. And, and, and she's, I, told, I told my daughter Saturday, I said, I'm the weakest link, right? She's like, yep. Because the baby like Gia, she get in trouble. And she goes, Gia. And I'm like, oh, oh, Gia can't get you. Because don't do that. She has to learn. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, you can't do that. Gia don't want you to get in trouble. She said, okay. So that's my baby. She's going to be in Miami with us, though. Scorpio. Try not to upset others with your plans. Be careful how you deal with your colleagues. Jealous colleagues may try to undermine you. Watch out for the backstabbers today, Scorpio. Watch out. They're trying to, listen, they're trying to undermine you because they're jealous. Don't you just hate being around jealous folks? It make you sick to your stomach. Like, ugh. What you got to be jealous for? Do your own thing. It's enough out there for everybody. Just, listen, there's abundance everywhere. You just got to claim yours. Focus on your stuff. Stop focusing on other people's stuff. Sagittarius, don't let others put unreasonable demands on you. If you can, try to work out of your home today. You can make money through solid investment plans. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Let me tell y'all something, and I'm not going to get off on this tangent again. I'm excited about cryptocurrency because I see how fast it's growing. So I have Bitcoins. I have light cash. I have, let me say I have, I got big cash, Bitcoins, light cash, Doge, and anchor and i got two more because that's where we're going whether you want to believe that or not money is going to fall out of circulation and right now even though we know bitcoins like kicked off like years ago you can still make money i was listening to this woman yesterday and she was saying something called um dollar cost averaging now i gotta figure out what that is because she was like you can still make great money if you know how to dollar cost average i'm like what does that mean so i have to learn out i have to learn what that means when it comes to bitcoin so I'm excited about that. I'm not telling you to invest in Bitcoin. I'm just telling you what I do. I'm not giving you financial advice about that. I'm just saying what I do. What me and my husband does. And he is worse than I am. Like he loves it. Like we're going to start a podcast about cryptocurrency. I can't tell you the name of it. But it's a cute name. It's a really, really cute name. And um, I'm excited about that. I Because I thought that was pretty cool. So listen, I love podcasting. Like I like to talk. So, yes, and, and I'm building a podcast network. So, just know that that's what it's all about. So, he and I are going to be launching a podcast, which probably is going to be on a Sunday. Can't tell you the name just yet, but I'm excited about it. Capricorn, advancement can be yours if you put your efforts into work-related matters. Be honest in your communication and don't lose your cool. You may get some opposition. Personal changes will be to your benefit. All right, listen, advancement can be yours. If you put in that effort, the extra efforts, right? Yeah, with your work-related matters. If that's what you're trying to do, if you're trying to get advancement in your career, you got to do the extra work. You got to go the extra mile. You got to take the extra steps. You got to do the extra work. That's how you're going to get it. And be honest. Be honest in your communication. Yeah. You may get some opposition to some things you're trying to do, but be honest. Aquarius, problems with females you live with or work with will try to will try your patience and cause temper flare-ups. Ooh. You could be tempted to overspend on unnecessary items. Residential changes, renovations, or moves are likely to, to disrupt your routine. Yeah, some some females in your life right now, they're gonna try you today. Just remain calm. I know that sometimes easier said than said than done, but try your best. They're going to try you, boy. They're going to they're gonna push you to the edge. They're going to push all your buttons, and you're going to want to snap. That's what they want you to do. My daughter and I were talking the other day, and I said, listen, when you ignore people, then they want to know why you're ignoring them. Just ignore them. That's what I do. You know, people think I'm mean. I'm not mean. I just don't have time for crap, you know, so I don't engage it very often because I have a bad temper when I'm mad. So I know that about myself. And so I try not to put myself in situations that cause me to have flare-ups. Because when I do, I'm uncontrollable, which is not a good thing. And I'm not proud of that. I'm not bragging about it. I just know myself. So instead of putting myself in those situations, I don't. I put myself in calm situations. And when I'm in a situation that looks like it's going to go to the left, I go to the right. That's the best thing for me and everybody else involved. Last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces, you should expect to have changes in your home. Deception will play an important factor in your relationships. Ooh, try to stay calm and do your best. Do the best you can. All right. Listen here, Fish. There's going to be some deception going on in some relationships. Yes. yes. 
Let me tell you something. I just said it, right? If I even think there's some deception, I'm going to walk away. Because if I don't walk away, there could be a problem. And I don't want no problems. I want problems. I want good energy. I want peace, love, joy, and happiness. That's what I want. So for you, fish, I don't know how you're going to deal with the deception that may play a role in, in, in the relationship you got going on. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to go that way. You may go that way. I'm going to go that way. Because I don't, I'm not ready for it. So I know I'm not ready, right? All right, that's all the horoscopes I got for today. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. to bring you horoscopes and a guest. Tomorrow is Thursday, Spotlight Thursday. So I'm coming to you with a guest. Yep, so we're going to be talking to the guest tomorrow. In the meantime, so apparently there was a cyber hack on a meat company, a meat supply company, and now they're saying it's called JBS. Man, let me tell you something. We're worried about all this other stuff. We better be worried about these these hackers that's like hacking us down. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? JBS US, the, the country's top beef producer and the second largest producer of pork, suffered a cyber attack this weekend, prompting reported shutdowns at the company plants in the United States and globally. Shut them down. Listen, hackers out there, they're trying to shut everybody down. And we're not paying attention because we're so busy trying to do other stuff to, to hurt ourselves <laughs> while they're trying to hurt us too. So we're hurting ourselves. And then they're trying to hurt us too. We're going to crumble after a while. We, if we're not careful and we don't open up and stop trying to hurt ourselves here in the United States, the outside world and inside world, we're going to crash. We're going to come to a crease and go, that's how it's going to be. Yep, that's how it's going to be. Some shoppers may want to brace themselves for yet another possible supply crunch with this time, but this time it's going to be meat. And if you like meat, you might have a meat crunch. <laughs> Major beef and pork producer JBS suffered a cyber attack. Yep, prompted and reported shuts down at the company plants in North America and Australia. Yep, the White House has said the ransomware attack was likely carried out by a Russia-based criminal organization that is dealing and that is dealing with the Russian government on that matter. <sighs> the Australian government has said that U.S. law enforcement is taking the lead on the investigating. On investigating the attack, Russia, Russia is one trying to take it down. You know, it's I hate to say it, but it's biblical. It's in the Bible, y'all. Said the West, the East shall rise up against us. It, it's in the Bible. Here's the thing: I don't know how we're supposed to manage Russia. Listen, Russia's out there trying to get us. We over here messing around, fighting each other, killing each other, and Russia's like, yeah, y'all keep doing that. We gonna keep taking you. Know, we gonna take down your meat supply. They done took down the gas. Now they're taking down the meat. They, they're just every... Listen, I'm expecting a cyber attack every week. I'm not trying to put that out there, but but listen, it's happening. You know, and so right now, we're fighting amongst ourselves, and they're fighting us too. So we're fighting the enemy within and the enemy without. Outside. It's terrible. Mm-hmm. So far, some authorities and trade groups have assured the that operation will be back to normal as soon as possible. Allying concerns of major disruption but experts warn that it depends on how quickly the issue can take care is taken care of so you know the people that get me from jbs they may just have a real shortage they're gonna have a real red meat shortage yep that, that's crazy russia ain't playing no game they trying to take us out we're fighting amongst ourselves and russia keep fighting keep not paying attention keep trying to stop the boats just keep fighting we, that's all right. We got something for you while you fight. Yep, they got something for us. All right, so um, Snellville's Roy Whitehead to retire after 17 years as police chief. He is saying, so long, goodbye, I'm done. A familiar place will leave the Snellville Police Department after a longtime police chief retires in July. After serving as police chief for the Gwinnett City for 17 years, Roy Whitehead will retire with a 50-year career in law enforcement under his belt. Assistant Police Chief Greg Perry, who joined the department in 2002, will step in to fill Whitehead's role. So, Mr. Whitehead, thank you for 17 years of service. Go on off and have you a wonderful retirement. I don't know about, I don't know who you are. I don't know what to stand for. I know that you was in a position for 17 years um, helping keep Gwinnett safe. And I wish you well in your retirement. Have some fun. Enjoy yourself. Do some traveling. Don't partake in the nonsense. We got people outside trying to trying to take us down. We don't need, don't partake in the nonsense. Enjoy your life. Because life can be short. I see it every day. I see it every day. I see it every day. Life can be very short. All right, I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after this song to give you more of the rundown of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So stay tuned. Mm-hmm.
Welcome back. It's your girl, Oji Bell Kearney, giving you a daily rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So, Gwinnett County Public School faces special accreditation review over complaints about the district. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, this school, this, 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 this school board is in the news almost every week. Like last week, it was about them having a meeting and people don't want to put the mask on. People trying to go to get arrested. It's just, it just seems like a mess every day. Yep, it just seems like a mess. But here's the thing. You know, there's a new group of people in there. Some people are not happy about it. Parents are not happy. So you got a lot going on. So the Gwinnett County Public School Schools is facing a review from the accrediting agency a year earlier than scheduled because of complaints that have been filed against the district. Cognia spokeswoman Mary, Mary, Maria Ma Taylor confirmed the accrediting agency will receive has received several complaints about the district, with at least one of them being about governance which refers to the Board of Education. That it has prompted a special review of the district, which is expected to be conducted this month, where the district will have to answer questions from a team of assembled, assembled, um, team assembled by Cognia. Yep. If a special review is warranted, that means there is something that came up outside of the regular five-year cycle of review and is usually initiated by complaint, Tyler said. So, you know, the school board is under scrutiny right now. Um, there are some people that's not happy. They're not happy with the new the new team that's in there. They're not happy with, you know, how uh, J. Abba Woolbanks was, you know, pretty much kicked out. You know, they, they're not happy. So I'm sure there's all kinds of complaints right now. Issues have touched off of sense of racial and political tensions. Two new board members took office and joined the board. Uh, Chairman Everton Blair to create a new majority on the board. That is majority Democrat and majority minority. So there's a lot of people just not happy, you know. So now they have to go to to the review early. Um, and I'm, I'm interested to see what's going to come out of that review. I'm interested to find out 
what the accrediting agency is going to find out once they go through the, the interview with them. I'm, I'm just, and I can't wait to see, and I'm hope, I'm sure that's going to be public information. And just trust when that information comes out, I'm coming straight to you with it. Because I want to know too, you know, um, if it's an open public meeting and I get the information ahead of time, I may even attend the meeting myself. Um, or if it's going to be virtual, if it's going to be virtual, I may even just attend the virtual meeting too. And just because I want to know, you know, there's a lot going on. Peachtree Corners launches a book on the area's history. I love history. I love, like, I'm a history person. Like, I look at my life now and I look back over my life. Like, the things that I love now, I wasn't even aware of before. Like, history, like, I love watching ancient history. I love watching, um, like, right now I'm watching a whole series about the men who built America, the food that built America, the, 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 the titans that built America. I could watch it all day long. And I miss, there's so much going on with that right now. I missed a lot of it. But that's history. And it, it inspires me, like, especially that type of history. Anything entrepreneurship-wise, it inspires me. If you have never seen the, milk, the men that built America, the food that built America, the cars that built America, the titans that built America, it's a very interesting um, they are a very interesting documentary series about industry and how it was built in America, like the lighting industry, like the gas industry, like the oil industry. Like it's it's intriguing to me. And what was even more intriguing, one, is to see how ruthless they were. They were ruthless. When I tell you ruthless back then, they were ruthless. But what's even more intriguing for me is to see the legacies that have been left. So just to put that in perspective, I think I was looking at J.P. Morgan and Andrew Carnegie, he gave he gave Andrew Carnegie four hundred and eighty million dollars for like I think the stills the steel company or something, which now is probably worth three billion dollars in today's money. But that was like in the eighteen hundreds, like you know. So that is like a hundred and eighty years old. That is a hundred and eighty, hundred and fifty year old legacy that still right. Like when you hear Carnegie, like we're reading a book right now um, by Dale Carnegie. When you hear those names from the eighteen hundreds, they have legacies that are still living on like right now. Right now, 150 years later, their family is still eating off of what they did 150 years ago. So that intrigues me as well. That's why it's so important for me to want to um, to, to, to build wealth and to show other women and, and families how to do it. So I'm excited about that. Anyway, the first person, Frazier Duke, remembers hearing the use of the what is arguably the granddaddy of all curse words. It was, was a property owner who was confronting his father over plans for Technology Park and what would eventually become Peachtree Corners. So Peachtree Corners has this new book coming out. It's talking about the history of Peachtree Corners. I think that's pretty cool. I wonder if they're going to do like a book signing because I would like to go to that. I would like to go to that and hear, hear them. Too. I love stories. If y'all can't tell by now, I love stories. That's why I'm always telling stories. So I love stories. And I wonder if my mom read to me as a little kid. I don't remember her reading to me. But I love stories and I love telling stories. But anyway... Um, the book is coming out. If you want to find out more about that, I'm sure it's going to probably be on Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. Um, in addition to looking into the area when Native Americans still lived there, as well as Pygmyville and Mechanicsville, the book also includes the histories of the Nesbitt and Medlock family, the Crowell brothers, the the Winter Chapel area, Neely Farm, the Civil War's impact on the Western Gwinnett. The establishment of the city of Peachtree Corners, the forum, the Peachtree Corners Town Center, and of course Paul Duke, and the creation of Technology Park. That's that sounds like it's gonna be pretty good. I think it's gonna be a good book. It sounds interesting. It sounds like it should be a movie. Like when I hear stuff like that, it sounds like it should be a movie because you know it's some interesting stuff that goes on there. So you know, for more information, the name of the book. What's the name of the book again? The History of Peachtree Corners. Yeah, I think it's the history of Peachtree Corner. Check it out. Check it out. Go to Gwinnett Daily Post. The story is there. If you want to get a copy of the book. I didn't see any information on how to buy the book. Because I would like if they're doing a book signing. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, okay, copies of Carrollstown book, Peachtree Corners, Georgia. The history of an innovative and remarkable city. 1777 to 2020 sit on display at the book's launch party at Peachtree Corner Hall last Thursday. So it was the launch party was last Thursday. We missed it. That's okay. I'm sure she's probably going to have another one. That'd be nice. Like, I, I, I wrote books, and I haven't been to a book signing in forever. When I was out there actively pursuing my career as a, um, as a, um, as an author, I was doing book signings. I was all over the place, so I was doing a lot. 
Brazelton residents can now report potholes, litter, broken street signs, or other issues via text messages to the city for speedy fixes. Yes, they can. Yep, they can do it. And I think that's a good thing. I, I hate litter. Like, I drive down the street. I want to do Lawrenceville have a, a number because I can. You know what I don't understand? I don't understand why people would drive down the street and throw their trash out on the street. Just take, wait till you get home or get to a store or get to a gas station and throw the garbage in the, why throw it on the street? I hate that. And so now Brazelton has said, now you can report that stuff. So if you got potholes, litter, broken street signs or other issues via uh, messages, you can send a text message and residents can re repeat, request p repairs, provide the problem, the place and a picture via text message. You can text that number to, you can text via the number is 706-654-5720. 706-654-5720. A staff member will investigate the issue and respond back to the sender to let them know the resolution. I love that. I love it. Because I hate seeing paper on the ground. Listen, my, my daughter and my husband know they better not throw no paper on the ground while they're around me. Because I don't I don't like that. So now Brazelton is saying, you know what? We're not we don't want this crap. We don't want potholes. Do we really have potholes here in Gwinnett County? Like I went to Jersey. That's potholes. Like, you want to see some real potholes? Go to Jersey. Shout out to my fam in Jersey. I love them, but we got, they had potholes. Bad ones. Yeah. Now, the city is asking that the program... Don't use the program to report illegal activity or emergencies. That's what 911 is for. This is for street litter, broken signs, potholes, things like that. That is not for 911 emergency. That is not for you to report somebody doing something wrong. However, now... Okay, now people, is that something we need to have? But that's what we've got 911 for. You know what I mean? That's what 911 is for, so just do that. Yeah. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of growth going on right now, so that's pretty cool, too. I love it. It's all right by me. Um, There's some people being honored all over and, and a lot of things. Like, um, I got to give a shout-out to Jessica Stewart, who has been... Uh, up for the um, Moxie Awards, also to Chantel. Is it Chantel that's getting it? I think Chantel Wilson over in Gwinnett County. Both of them are up for the Moxie Award. Congratulations, lady, because your work goes unnoticed, did, did not go unnoticed. Because you do good work, you're good people, you're doing great things in Gwinnett County. You have been recognized for that, so congratulations for being nominated for the Moxie Award given by the, the uh, Gwinnett Chamber. That's a cool thing. So, I'm also excited to uh, announce that the Gwinnett Entrepreneur Center is about to get open. They're accepting applications. Yep, yep, yep. So, the Gwinnett will start accepting applications this summer for membership in the Gwinnett Entrepreneur Center. It's an incubator for startups and small businesses looking to grow. Now, here's the thing. They only have 30 to 40 spots available. I have I have requested to be a marketing coach with the center. I have not heard anything back. I will do a follow-up um, because I'm in a space where I can help people market. The program, which provides facilities and coaching for beginner businesses, will accept 30 to 40 applications, um, but you got to be Gwinnett-based members. The center is encouraging applications for minority business owners and those from financially challenged households. The building is a 6,000 square feet located downtown Lawrenceville. It includes co-working spaces, a training room, equipment and technology, conference rooms, a break room, dining area, outdoor space, and offices. Now, let me tell y'all this. I, I reached out to someone at the county. I was like, listen, there's going to be a podcast studio there. So there's no podcast studio. However, however, if I get an office there, I'll, there will be a podcast studio. So... I'm going to reach out and find out about that because I think that it's going to help a lot of people. And I'm going to make that call today um, because there is not a podcast studio there. However, I would love to put a podcast studio there, teach podcasts, and then teach marketing. So that's something that I'm looking, I'm going to reach out today and find out because I didn't see that there. I didn't see podcast studio. I saw everything else, but not podcast studio. Um, so the center is going to provide instructions such as workshops, coaching, peer learning, connections to customers and capital and market research. I think that's amazing. So for more information about how to get into the center, you can go to go to www.gwinnettentrepreneurcenter.com. If you're looking to start a business, grow a business, you want to be around like-minded people, that is one of the best things ever. To be around people who are on the same page as you, there's going somewhere, you know, um, yeah, that's a good thing. So check it out, gwinnettentrepreneurcenter.com. 
So right now, um, you know, kids are home from school, and sometimes the only time they get a chance to eat a hot meal is when they go to school. So after Gwinnett County Public Schools has wrapped its meal service, the Gwinnett Summer Meal Program kicked in yesterday, um, and it's going to be the food is going to be distributed to um, children 18 years of age and younger at county parks, libraries, and locations that started yesterday. Meals are also available for adults 19 years or older with physical and mental disabilities who are enrolled in a school-based program. So for more information about how to get a meal, a breakfast, or a lunch, because, you know, on the go, because school is out, you can go to GwinnettSummerMills.com, GwinnettSummerMills.com, GwinnettSummerMills.com. Um, we want to make sure that the kids are still fed. Sometimes this is the only time they get to eat when they go to school. And because school is out right now, they may not get to eat. So right now, county parks and libraries and other locations started yesterday handing out meals um, grab grab and go breakfast and lunches for children 18 years of age or younger and younger and those 19 years and older with physical or mental disabilities. Again, go to GwinnettSummerMills.com, GwinnettSummerMills.com, GwinnettSummerMills.com. And make sure if you know somebody who may be looking for um, who may be looking for a hot meal, this is an opportunity for them to do that. So the, the Snellville Police Department and the Snellville Citizens Academy Alumni Association will, will host a annual public safety night Tuesday, June the 8th, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at T. Briscoe Park. T.W. Briscoe Park located at 2500 Sawyer Parkway. The event is free with food and refreshments available for purchase. Yes, area mascots will be on hand along with special activities to entertain children, including a demonstration by the Snellville K-9 officers. So if you want to get out and you want to meet with the police officers and the Police Citizen Academy alumni, this is an opportunity for you to do that. I love these type of programs. I think this strengthens communities when you can have, you know, law enforcement connect with the community on a personal level. I think that's a great thing. And that will, you know, that kind of helps to eliminate some of the things we see across the nation when it comes to police uh, brutality and violence against citizens, you know, things like that. You know, I'm so grateful that that has not really happened much here. We had, uh, there was one incident that I saw um, on um, 316 where the officer just, he had the guy in handcuffs and he, for some strange reason, he felt the need to kick him in the face and he was laying on the ground handcuffed. I think he got fired. So, you know, again, you can't do those type of things and there's cameras. And so you don't want to. Because we understand that you're an agent, you're, you're, you're an officer and you're a person too, but you got to treat people the same way you want to be treated. So I like these type of events. I, I, I was telling someone, I, I forgot who it was, when I moved to Gwinnett County and learned that I can go and be a part of a police citizen's academy, the Gwinnett Citizen Academy 101, you know, there's, I thought that was a great thing. And I got to go behind the scenes and see how things work. I got to go in, into an assimilated room and see how what happens if a criminal is coming towards you with a knife or a gun and how do you react and kind of gives you an idea of what the officers go through when they're out on the streets and someone is, is doing something crazy. So I love these type of programs. I think it strengthens our communities and bring it together. Um, and so make sure to check it out June 8th, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. That's a Tuesday evening, which is pretty cool. Um, the event is free. The food and refreshments are available for purchase. Again, that's going to be at T.W. Briscoe Park, located at 2500 Sawyer Parkway in Snellville. So if you want to get out and do some things, get out and do some things. I don't know if you've been vaccinated yet. Um, I have. And I was talking to someone yesterday and I was telling them, I was like, you know, I was one of the main people saying I'm not getting vaccinated. Like if you had asked me to get vaccinated, I was like, absolutely no way I'm not doing it. But here I am, I'm vaccinated, and I'm ready to get the booster. Now, I know for some people, that sounds crazy. Not for me. I'm like, listen, I had corona. It was not fun. I could not breathe. So I'm not interested in finding out what happens next. I'll take the vaccine and take my chances. All right, I'm going to my last song. that's going to come and close it out. So stay tuned to that. I'll be right back. <laughs>
Welcome back, welcome back. So listen, guys, that's all I got for you today. But before I go, I want to give you my word of inspiration. And here goes. It says, um, believe that life is worth living and your belief will help create the fact. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Let me say it again. Believe that life is worth living and your belief will help will help create that fact. William James said that and he was absolutely right. Listen, I know it sounds like a cliche, but what you think about, you bring about. What you believe is what you can achieve. I know, I know that sounds very cliche-ish, but it's the truth. You know, I think about, I look around and I was just thinking as I was sitting here, I was like, man, I love podcasting and I talk about it all the time. And so I podcast. So, because I love it, I podcast. I talk about podcasting. I do podcasting. I train on podcasting. I teach podcasting. I love podcasting. Because what you think about, you bring about. Right? Now, that, that can go the other way. If you're thinking negative things, you're going to bring negative things. You're going to attract negative things to you. You know? But if you think good things, you're going you're gonna to attract good things. And you got to keep that mindset. You got to be optimistic. My um, That 201, I told you I woke up this morning at 201. That was my angel number. The angels were trying to tell me something. What was crazy is... What they were trying to tell me, I'm actually living out right now, right? Because of my optimism and the things that I think about. Yes, I could be beat down right now. I lost one of the most important people in my life. She gave me birth. And I think about it every single day. And I could be beat down and walking sad, but I can't. Because she wouldn't want that for me. She wouldn't want me to be that way. Because she knew I didn't like being that way. And so she wouldn't want me to be that way. So... I'm going to believe that this life that I'm living right now is worth living. And I'm going to do my best to make it the best life ever. Hope you do the same. Listen, thank you again for listening. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 50 minutes with me. And I love and appreciate you to life for that. If you missed any episode of this show, be sure to go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to listen to past episodes there. Also, follow me on Twitter at GM Gwinnett. Follow me on Facebook at Good Morning Gwinnett. And follow me on the Instagram at Good Morning Gwinnett. Also, if you listen to the show on Apple Podcasts, find your favorite two episodes and give it five stars. I love you and love you and appreciate you for that. I'll be back again tomorrow with more of the horoscopes, your national holidays, and I guess tomorrow is Spotlight Thursday. So listen, tell your family and friends you love them. I'll be back again tomorrow, God willing, at 10 a.m. Until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwen. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.